Hey guys, welcome to the 63rd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the process class a little bit more. So all you're going to need for this tutorial is a button. And once you have this button on your form, just go ahead and double click on it. You're also going to need to be using the system.diagnostics namespace because the process class is located in there. So once you have that, just go ahead and type out the process. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to get all of the processes that are currently running. And to do that, you're just going to want to use the getProcesses method. And the getProcesses method returns a process array. So we're going to use a for each statement to loop through um, all of the processes that are currently running. And then we're going to display the name of those processes in a message box. So it's going to be for each uh, process inside of this process, inside of all these processes running, and then we're just going to do p dot processor name. And we're just going to display that inside the message box. So what this will do is it will get all the processes running. Then using this for each statement, it will loop through um, all of the processes that are currently running and then print out their name inside of a message box. So we should get a message box for each of the processes running. And yeah, here are a whole bunch of them. I'm not going to go through them all because I have a lot running, but you get the idea. Now you could obviously do anything that you wanted with this process that, or with this for each statement. So we could do like p.kill and just kill all the processes currently running. But I wouldn't advise doing that because you have some like processes running such as, um, no, uh, well, Windows Explorer is in here somewhere. Uh, Let's explore that exe. Yeah, Windows Explorer. I mean, you wouldn't want to end that. That would be bad because then you wouldn't be able to like access all the start menu and stuff. So don't kill all the processes that are currently running. But you could do something else. Like you could check to see if a process is responding. And in order to do that, you're just going to do the name of your process dot responding. And this will check to see if a, if a process is responding or not. For example, um, if like if like one of your uh, programs is frozen or something, then it would say it's, it's not responding, and it would return false. And this returns a bool, so we're just gonna have to do um, that two string. We put this in the message box. Do dot two string. Alright, so now what this will do is it will loop through every process and make sure that it's responding. And if it's, if it's responding, we should just get true in the message box. And all of the methods, or all the processes should be responding. So we should get true for every single one of these. And I'm not going to look through them all, but they're all responding. So, for example, if you wanted to um, kill all the processes that weren't responding, you could just do if... Uh, uh, p dot responding and then put that there to say if it's not responding then we just want to kill that process. So what this will do is it will just go through every process and if it's not responding it'll kill it. So it'll just kill all the processes that aren't responding. Yep and shouldn't have killed any because I think all of the processes were responding. All right, so the last method that I'm going to be showing you is the um, get process by name. And the get process by name will basically just um, get a process by its name. So we just type in like a string here. Um, so if we just want to get like a process's name, um, we'll just get um, Skype down here, or is it Skype? So we can just type in Skype right here. And we'll just print out the uh, name of that process in a message box. So it's going to be messagebox.show, and then we'll show this process's name. And we should just get Skype in a message box. Yep, because there's only one um, instance of Skype running. For example, if we were to do Chrome, however, Google Chrome, there's, I don't know how many here, but there's a lot. So if we were to just type in Chrome, then we would get, uh, I don't know, eight or so. Yeah, multiple. 
And this um, returns uh, a process array because, like I said before, or like I just showed you, um, it can return multiple if there are multiple processes of the same name. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial, and that's pretty much all there is to the process class. So see you guys.